Hello? Neo, we don't have much time. Neo? No, this is Keith. Trinity, did we get the name wrong? Keith, it's up to you. Wait, 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 what, what's up to me? I, I don't have time for this, great show starts soon. The item in your bag is key. Wait, what item? Hurry, do what I say. They'll find you soon. Uh, two men in black looking dudes? Uh, where do I gotta go? Go to the building on your right. There's a download station there. Sun VR, and today I will be going through my top 5 favorite FPS games that you can play for free right now on SideQuest. If you like this kind of content, consider subscribing, and let me know down in the comments what your favorite game is. Be sure to stay till the end because I have an honorary game mention that you should definitely check out. Let's jump right into the action. Number 5 Cybercade. This is a unique FPS game. When I loaded into the lobby, I had flashbacks of playing those old arcade machines like Area 51. It has such a retro design from the music and sounds to the graphical colors implemented. I'd be careful if you're sensitive to flashing lights though. There are currently four maps to choose from. You have Night Market, Underground Lab, Rooftops, and Robot Factory, each with their own awesome layout design. There are two game modes to pick right now. You have Casual and Arcade. Casual lets you enjoy the game without having to worry about resetting when you die. Arcade mode on the other hand is another experience. You can only get hit three times before losing and getting sent back to the lobby, so you gotta be careful and know what you're doing. This game has non-stop action and is a serious workout. I love the way the bullets come at you and kinda makes you feel like Neo when you dodge them. Cybercade has a sweet animation when you point the gun down to reload as well. There are also a few weapon power-ups to pick up as you go throughout the map, which gives you the option to mix up gameplay temporarily before they revert back to pistols. You also don't have to play alone. There is a fantastic feature in the lobby that lets you play local or online with someone. All you need to do is enter their room code and you're all set to go. So grab a friend and go kick some cyber butt. Number four. Battle Arena, an action-packed FPS game that will take you on a wild ride. Not only can you walk and jump, but you have an incredible grapple hook system that you can use to get out of very tricky situations. Battle Arena currently offers team deathmatch and free-for-all style game modes. The maps offer a variety of maneuverability and makes good use of their structures. Inside the map, you can also find weapon pickups, health pickups, and even an armor pickup. Inside the main lobby, you can check out the leaderboards, map selections, and a server terminal so you can choose the best server with the best ping for yourself. There's also a neat character creation system where you can randomly cycle through body types and color. This one is currently my favorite combination. You have a few weapon options to choose from when you're on the battlefield. There's the SMG, Plasma Thrower, Laser Rifle, Grenade Launcher, and the newest weapon in the arsenal is called the Dire Gun. The developers have been very receptive on feedback and listens to the suggestions from their community members. They also host tournaments in the game lobby, so sign up the next time you log in. Number 3 Hi Bo. Now this game is not your average FPS. It's a battle royale style game, but instead of guns, you use a variety of bows, arrows, gear, and even melee weapons to take out your opponents. So when the game begins, you go into your own pod, and from there you can select on the map where you want to drop. The movement is pretty fluid between dashing ahead and using your bow like a sling to propel yourself forward. The draw on the bow has a smooth feedback and it's very satisfying to shoot. There are a few game modes to choose from. You have war mode, solo, duo, and events that happen in between them. Hybo honestly has one of the best training slash lobbies out there. It has stationary and moving targets along with a huge selection of weapons and gear to try out. There's a variety of arrows to choose from as well. 
there's normal, frozen, fire, my favorite, the bomb arrow, and even one called Evil Lord, which has a chicken for design, but that's something you should see for yourself. One of the fun things I like to do when I run out of arrows, or even if I have arrows, is just to switch to the melee weapon and go around like a ninja. Honestly, this game is a unique addition to the VR FPS genre, and I hope you don't miss out on the experience. Oh, one last thing, don't forget to check out the leaderboard. Maybe we'll see you on there one day. Number 2 Pavlov Shack is the light version of the PC VR game Pavlov. Don't underestimate it though, because this game is a force in its own right. Not being tethered to cords and a PC is a very great perk. There are a variety of maps and game modes, from solo games like Gun Game, Deathmatch, to more team oriented modes like Trouble in Terrorist Town, and my favorite, Search and Destroy. This game has a selection of weapons and accessories to choose from, including rifles, pistols, SMGs, heavy weapons, upgrades, and even gear. So no matter what weapon choice your preference is, they got you covered. The weapons feel great to use, and the reloading mechanic is very satisfying. The in-game audio and feedback work surprisingly well too. You are immersed from the moment you start the round to the very last second of it. The key to winning is working with your team, whether it's going with your whole squad or partnering up with a buddy. Honestly, if you're looking for a free, realistic FPS to play, Pavlov Shack is the way to go. The developers are constantly trying to improve and update the game, and the future of it is very promising. And number one! Hyperdash. It's a 5v5 fast-paced action-packed shooter. It's an easy game to get into, but hard to master. One thing you'll learn at the start is that you'll die. And die. And die a lot. But after some practice, you'll be able to pull off all sorts of crazy maneuvers on your opponents. You can choose to walk, sprint, dash, or even ride the rails. There's all sorts of ways to reach your goal. It has three great game modes. Domination, where your team tries to capture and hold all three points on the map while your opponent tries to do the same. Payload, where the blue team tries to push the payload as far and as fast as they can with the time remaining on the clock. Even if you don't make it to the end, that doesn't mean it's over. After that round, you switch sides and start off on the red team. The objective is to stop the cart from moving at all costs while the clock counts down. If you stop them from pushing it to the end, or where you end it on blue, then you win. If not, then start over and do a tiebreaker. Control point. There is one center button that counts up when pushed. The first team to reach 300 seconds or 5 minutes wins the match. You'd be fighting for every second on the clock. There are a variety of weapon options. Weapon pickups are different for each game mode and makes for an interesting encounter. You have pistols, staple gun, SMGs, shock pistols, shotgun, rocket launcher, sniper, and even a shield. You will have plenty of options to choose from. If you are looking for a competitive challenge, consider checking out the Dash League. The developers of Triangle Factory have done a great job, and I'm very excited for the future release of the game, which I hear is coming pretty soon, so try it out on SideQuest while you can. And when it comes out, be sure to pick up a copy. Honorable mention. Vertical Shift This is one upcoming game that I could not leave out of this video. It's technically not an FPS game, but when you see what it's about, I think you'll agree with me. First thing I love about this game is the movement. You have these dual grapple shooters that you can use to swing and whip yourself around the map. But if that wasn't cool enough, you also have these hand thrusters that you can use to fly and shift your momentum around when needed. It's like being Spider-Man and Iron Man at the same time. Oh, did I also mention that you can shoot EMP blasts from your hand? Vertical Shift is a very interactive lobby where you can meet up with others that are online. You can also move around the city swinging along buildings and flying cars. The developers even put in a type of story mission that changes periodically. This time you can do a mission for <laughs> Larry the Drone Destroyer. Here's a little clip of it. You there. Looking to earn a few bucks. Mommy told you not to talk to strangers, did she? Don't worry, I don't bite. Ah yes, where are my manners? They call me Larry Wyatt. You can call me the Drone Destroyer. There are a few game modes to choose from. Race. It's an obstacle course with moving structures that you have to avoid, and you also want to try to get to the end as fast as possible. Freeze Tag, where you use your advanced movement and EMP blast to freeze your opponents in place. But be careful, they can also be unfrozen by their teammates. Once the whole team is tagged, the remaining team gets the point. Infection. One person starts out infected and has to maneuver around the city to infect others. They have until the time runs out to get everyone, or else they lose. Hot Seat. 
This is one of my favorite game modes. It's like the opposite of tag, where you want to be it and hold the hot seat while everyone else tries to take it from you. It takes place on a smaller map, so you have to make quick movements to avoid your opponents. It really makes for fast paced action. To top it off, every game mode can be customized the way you like it. The developers are constantly engaged with their community, and will even hop on to play games with their members. They also started making tournaments, so keep an eye out for those. Vertical Shift has a lot to offer so far, and I highly recommend joining their Discord to download the game. Hey, thank you for watching. All the games you saw in the video today can be found in the description below, so go ahead and check them out and show them some support. Until next time, take care.